Hi friends, I'm Jessica, and today I'll be taking you through the Social Media Planner, which is a dashboard meant for real estate agents to organize all of their social media content ideas in Notion. By the way, this is part of the Ultimate Agent Hub, which is a system in Notion that I've created to help agents organize all of their business in one place. So this does include several dashboards, but today I'm going to be focusing on the Social Media Planner. So I'm going to be taking you on a walkthrough and then I'll be giving you very specific tips that can help you optimize and skyrocket your use of Notion for social media planning as a real estate agent. So let's get into it. This is the social media planner. Consistency is key. We all know this when it comes to creating content and making that a lead generation machine for your real estate business. And so it is important to keep track and plan in advance so that you always have ideas and you never need to wonder what you're going to be posting that week, that month, etc. So let's go down here. So what you can do is have all of your post ideas and they can have different statuses. So let's say cost of living in your city in 2023. So let's say you live in Houston, Texas. So cost of living in Houston in 2023. And then you can write down a brainstorm, content outline, a script, and a caption for that piece of content. And then it would be marked as an idea initially, but as you go through the process of scripting it, of creating or filming it, and of editing it, you can change the status here. And then, of course, once it's done, you'll change it to done. And once it's been posted, you'll change it to posted. And then here, you can view this as a Kanban board, so you'll have them all organized based on the status of the piece of content. And for example, if I didn't want to see the ones that are posted on this view, I could add a filter here. Status is either to do or in progress or done. But I don't want to see the ones that are posted. That way, I'm only seeing what's coming up in the future. I think it's a very good idea to actually have dates for each of your ideas. Because that way, you will be able to populate your content calendars. So let's say I wanted to make one piece of content per week. As I create them in here in my content planner, and I indicate a date here, they will automatically show up in my content calendar. So what I'm seeing up here is just the same database but being visualized, shown to you in a calendar form. In fact, if I wanted to post an idea today, because I'm doing something cool today and I'd like to share that with my social media audience, I can put this in right away. So let's say I'm doing a house tour of 123 Banana Street. And so that becomes an idea. Date to post is today. And, and then if I close it here and I go up to my all posts database, it will show up here. Okay, so these are connected. They're the same database, just shown in different ways for you to visualize. So I can write all my ideas here and then populate them automatically into my calendar. Every time I create a post idea, I can select which platforms I'm going to be posting this on. So if I want to be posting this as an Instagram reel, for example, and then I also want to add it as a YouTube short and as a TikTok video, because I know that I can repurpose those types of content. I'll add those there. And then when I go into by platform, I will see all of the Instagram reels that I have planned out here. And this is in a list form. Okay. So Notion allows you to present database information in various ways. And these are the six layouts that you can view your database information in it within Notion. Okay. So you had the table, you had the board, like the Kanban board, which we were showing before. There's a timeline view if you want to use that. The calendar view is what we were showing in the social media calendar below. And this here is a list view. You also have the calorie view, which is another option if you'd like to go with that. So just various ways based on how you like to view your information and organize your social media posts. Okay, I have a section here where you can link to all your various social media accounts. That way it's easy to access directly within this dashboard. And then, of course, if you want to have hashtag groups, if you use hashtags on your content, you can have specific hashtags that you use depending on the type of content that you're posting. So if I'm doing a house tour, 
I may have specific hashtags for that. And I can just keep that information here so that it's easy to access. And I can just copy and paste that into my caption here or directly into whatever I use to post my content. I've left also linked to brand assets and principles, which is something that you can always refer to. I think it's important to have a clear idea of what your brand is as a real estate agent. So just to have your assets, so any logos, social banners, any documents that you want to keep, and then your brand principles so that you can always refer to that whenever you are creating content to make sure that you're always communicating to your ideal customer and that your branding is always consistent. Okay, now I'll show you specific tips that you can use when, when planning out your social media in Notion. So the first thing is if I'm creating a piece of content for a specific property that I'd like to advertise on my social media, what I will do is I can actually create a relation property in my social media planner, which will connect this post to its respective listing. Okay, so I have my listings and this is a separate database that I have in another section of the Ultimate Agent Hub. And so I have all of my properties listed in that database. Let's go back to our example of 123 Banana Street. Here, I can either select the listing if it already exists here, or in this case, because I've just created this listing, I'm going to create it by just typing here, 123 Banana Street. And now you'll see that this property exists in my tr transaction database. So that's a really cool way to go into your transactions or your listings and see what pieces of content have I created for this property, because then they would all show up right here. Anytime that I created a piece of content for this property, if I link it to the property in my transaction database, it'll show up in my social content section here. Okay, so that's a cool way to use the power of Notion when planning your content. Number two would be to make use of reminders within Notion. So if I click on the date to post, and let's say I wanna post this tomorrow, I'm going to add a reminder. So let's say on day of event at 9 a.m. Notion will create a reminder. You see that this just turned blue and there's a little stopwatch next to it. That indicates that I'm going to be receiving a notification in Notion reminding me to post this piece of content. You also have the option of email notifications if you prefer to get your notifications that way. So as you plan your content and you have dates when you want to post your content, you will always get notifications the morning of to post them so that you never miss a post again. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to show you is how you can make use of Notion AI to supercharge uh, your content creation process. So what we'll do here is we'll look again at our example here. What I'll do is I'll actually type out a bit of a brainstorm and then I'll come back and we can see together how Notion AI would help us create our piece of content here. All right, so here's a brainstorm that I've just typed out. So just describing the real estate property that I am advertising in this video. And I'm going to use Notion AI to see how it can help me create a content outline, script, and caption. And Notion AI is an add-on to your Notion plan. So if you do want to add that on, I'll link the pricing and description for Notion AI down below. All right, I'm gonna press space and I'm gonna indicate right the content outline, script, and caption for the house tour social media post of 123 Banana Street based on the brain elements above. Go there. Okay, very cool. So because this is a house store, Notion AI has suggested filming each part of the house. And then we would have the narration, um, which actually gives you some great tips. Um, so you can read through this and see if there's anything you would like to edit. And then it suggests a little caption here as well. I'm going to try this again just to see if it comes up with something different. I'm going to use Notion AI again. There we go. We've got a different take on this. 
So you can always repeat the exercise with Notion AI and see if you get something that you prefer on the second or third try. Notion AI is, is extremely powerful, as I'm sure you know. Um, you can prompt it to do whatever you need it to. Like, let's say I wanted to change this up a little bit. I could say, make the above post more fun and playful. If, if your brand is more of a fun and playful vibe, I mean, then we could try that and see what Notion AI gives us. All right, so just looking at this um, narration here, you can see that um, you have a few jokes thrown in, uh, which you can add and, um, and obviously edit this as, as you'd like, but it gives you some great inspiration and a place to start when creating those social media posts. I would highly encourage you to utilize Notion AI or ChatGPT or any other AI tool to accelerate your idea process and help you get more material out when it comes to social media. All right, so that's it for the social media planner. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I would love to hear what you think. Please do like and subscribe to let me know that you want to see more videos like this in the future. Again, my name's Jess. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.